Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So continue with the previous video. In this video, we will see working with the calculated field and different features in OTBI report in Oracle Fusion. Okay. First of all, I want to tell you that if you had not seen the previous video on OTBI or Oracle Fusion BI reports, you can see that videos. You can find that videos in the playlist. If you require any different type of an help, you can write into the comment section. So continue with this video. So I am on the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So create supplier voice invoice listing report. This report we had created in the last video and we had already seen some functions on this. So what we had done, we had seen this five section in that particular video. Today we will see this remaining three sections that is working with the calculated working with the table layout and hiding the columns. Okay. So for this, I am just editing this same report. I just clicked on edit and it will redirect me to the OTBI report section. So this is the same report. Okay. So what is the next point over here? Working with the table layout. So you can see over here, this is all the two layouts. First one is an title and second one is an table. So in the title section, you can see the title and in table, you can see the table and all the details. So if you want to see the output, how the output will be, looks like then what you have to do you have to click on the field show how results will look on a dashboard then here is the drop down you have to click on that and just you have to click on default and you clicked on default it will open one page it will show the same report which will having the same looks as the dashboard okay so this is the dashboard so i am just closing this so now what we have to do alternative highlight the data so what is here in the table section what is we are having we are having different types of an column okay we are having this business group also over here so i am just doing one thing i am just pulling this business group out of the table section and then i am also pulling out this supplier number and then i am also pulling this supplier site also outside the table section so why i pulled that because these are constant thing these are non-changeable because we had added the filter on the supplier so we are having this data and here is also the horizontal bar also so what we have to do we have to alternative columns we have to highlight so how we will do this so here are the some options that is format container and second is view property and third is the edit view and last is close okay so but we have to click on view properties if i clicked on view properties it will come over here so here is the option enable alternate styling so if i click this checkbox and here is the a i can select different types of an options over here like horizontal alignment and all i am just clicking on background color and i am highlighting one of the color suppose i will choose this color i am just clicking on ok and i am again clicking on ok so you can see over here alternate row highlighted by that color okay i am just saving this report here are some other options also so i am just clicking on view properties so here i will explain all the things display folder and column headings so only columns headings so i had selected only columns headings so it is showing only columns heading so folder is nothing but the subject area which we had selected suppose i am selecting as as folder dot column so here you can see over here it is from the general information so it is from general information dot invoice creation date so it will comes like that i don't want to show the data like this so i am just reverting the change back then master detail so we don't have master detail relationship over here we will see this in the future then after there is the another option that is an content paging so what is the content paging previously we are having the horizontal and vertical bar on the page but if we select the content paging and we select over here the top and if we give the number of rows here 10 when i click on ok you can see the change the page is got full screen page and you can see over here the content paging is added at the top because we had selected the top option you can select the next 10 10 records over here suppose i am changing the size as 15 and i am changing instead of top i am selecting as bottom 
and I'm clicking on OK. So you can see over here, this paging is went to the bottom. We can see the 15 rows per page. If I want to see how it will looks on dashboard, so it will look like this on the dashboard. Okay. So I'm just saving this report. So we are done with the content paging also. Then here is some another option format container in format container also we are having some options like background color and all these are very simple things so you can give that one additional option now is there which is having we can give the width height for that particular column and here is the padding padding means suppose you can see over here in this image just let me cancel this so you can see over here it is just uh, very nearer to that particular border suppose i go to format container additional formatting and i write over here 20 as a left padding and 20 as the right padding and i just clicked on ok then you can see over here this is some space from both of the side okay you can check that same on the dashboard also so on dashboard also you can see here is some space and here too we are having the space okay just i'm saving it back so now what we are having we are done with alternating highlight then we are done with the padding also then we are also done with the contained paging now next is working with the simple calculated field so how to add the calculated field suppose what i have to do i have to add one more columns which will having the result of invoice amount minus tax amount okay i want to do that so how i can do that so here are different types of an option so here is an one option that is new calculated measure measure is nothing but the all the columns which are having the numerical value okay so that comes under the measure so you can give here the heading folder heading so i am giving the heading as original amount but we are showing over there only column heading so i am writing the column heading also and here are the same options so what we have to do we have to do the subtraction of invoice amount minus total tax charge so that will comes under invoice detail and invoice amount both the fields so now i am having here the field that is an invoice amount just i have to select and here is the arrow i just want to press that arrow then i want to add the minus sign so here is the minus sign i have to click over there so that is done then second field is total tax charge then i have to again transfer this field on that side and i have to click on ok when i clicked on ok as soon as this column will populate over here and the subtraction for that column will also get appeared over here so if you subtract both the field you will get the same result okay so this is how we can add the calculated on the OTBI report. Okay, so we will just try one subtraction over there. So what we are having in the invoice amount first that is in a 47404.66 minus 7768.66. So we are having 39636 and here also we are having the same 39636. We are correct over there so we are done with this working with simple calculated field also now we have to do the last one that is hiding the columns in the otbi report so how to hide the columns in the, to the otbi report for that first of all i will save this report so what i have to do i have to just here is the option that is edit view so when i clicked on edit view it will allow me to edit the table view of the report so this is divided into some sections so first one is the result section so here we can see all the changes if you do any type of setting down or here second is the layout section in layout section we are having here four columns so this four columns we are added this as a header that's why these are appearing over here you can do summation and all the operations over there then we are having columns and the measures so in columns and the measure what we have to do so here include tax amount there is always a null field in this you can see so we don't require this suppose then we can do one thing we can just click on setting and we can click on hidden if you click on hidden then it will just hidden on the page 
while loading the data it will load that particular data over there but it won't see on the page only but if you have some performance issue in your report so that time you don't want to load the data of that particular column also so here is an invoice number and invoice id both are there but i just needed invoice number invoice id is not needed so suppose because of this it is giving me some performance issue so that time i don't want to delete this column but because i can i have to use it into the future so i just have to drag this column and i have to put this into the exclude if i put this column into the exclude section it won't load the data for this particular column means it won't load the data for the invoice id now so the performance of that particular report will get increased so this is the main difference between this hidden and this particular exclude section that's why i had explained this and the last section is selection steps so what is the selection steps so this selection step we will see in our next video okay i'm just clicking on done over here and you can see over here both the columns invoice id is also not there and now the include tax amount is also not there just i am saving this report and i am seeing the result on the dashboard so you can see the result like this on the dashboard also if you want to click on next you can also click on next and check the results so this is all about the creating the otbi report and different types of informationality in the otbi report